Welcome back to episode three of Prison on the Neo Network server. Just like we start off every episode, going to start off with a quick crate opening of Thanksgiving crates, then going to do a few upgrades and grind out some prestiges. So without further ado, let's hop right into it. Okay, that is actually so unfortunate. I have Thanksgiving crate keys saved up and it just changed to a December monthly crate. So I made a ticket, gonna try and sort that out, see if there's anything I can do. Hopefully there is. So I guess then I will just jump straight into some upgrades and skip over the whole crate thing. So I'm back at my mind now. I am prestige 34 now. I've been grinding for a little bit on my own, just kind of going through the prestiges and completing the quests. So first thing I want to do is reroll my trait a little bit because I want to start leveling this up to tier two. So I'm going to reroll this. I think I'm just going to use up them all because I think the more I reroll it, the higher the chance it goes up to the next tier. So I'm left with 4% explosive booster, 1% or chunk booster, and 1% pickaxe XP booster. Not the best, but I'll definitely take that. There's a lot of quests that involve pickaxe XP, so that's definitely useful. Next thing I want to do is go into my prestige shop because I actually haven't spent any of my P tokens. So I think I'm going to go into mining and treasure hunter seems like a lot of fun. It might not be the best one, but that does seem like a lot of fun. I'm trying to see if there's anything else worth buying. Mine crate finder would be good because there's definitely some quests that require that. And then trait reroll finder. I think I want to level up trait reroll finder actually. So let me max that out. Extra profit while selling really isn't worth it to me right now because the only money I'm really making is for my servants. When I'm mining, I don't really make anything compared to what my servants make me. I'm gonna upgrade Treasure Hunter next and just max that out because that seems like a lot of fun. And then I'll also put some into my nuke. I think I'll get that up to level five and then I'll put the rest into Mine Crate Finder. And there we go, there's all of my P tokens spent and I'm gonna keep working on quests. A lot of these are pretty repetitive so I'm gonna kind of skip through and not show every single one, just some of the more interesting ones. Looks like my next three quests are all mining related, so I'm gonna go mine for a little bit and I'll be right back. I am just wrapping up all of the mining quests that actually didn't take too long at all, but I should be good to go to Prestige 35 now. And I should have a milestone to collect. Three pet eggs, it's pretty good. I'm gonna go and check out my pets actually, because I haven't looked at these in a little bit. I just unlocked the last pet slot and I'm actually going to remove the chest pet so I can upgrade it. And I'm going to equip the chest pet. I'm going to equip the crab pet to get more E tokens. And then I'm also going to combine and equip the penguin pet just to make finding bait a little bit easier because there's a fair amount of quests that require that. So I always just go for the easy quests first just to kind of get those out of the way. So right now I am doing that. This is another reason why I've been saving up my mine crates is because there's a lot of quests that call for you to open a mine crate. So now I just have one in my inventory so I can get that right away without having to wait to mine one. I need to place a summoner eye. I might skip that one. I haven't been to the D boss yet and I will in a future video, but I don't think I want to do that in this video. So I might skip that and I have a whole bunch of nutrients saved up as well. So whenever I get one of those, it's pretty easy. So I'm re-rolling the summoner I won and I got farm crops instead. That's about as easy as it gets. Just come here and break 135 crops. And that's already done. And last but not least, I just need to purchase two basic enchant books. And I think I actually have enough XP for that. So let me go to enchant item shop and purchase two of those. And I'm already done with prestige 35. Another thing I forgot to mention is while going through the quests, I was buying basic enchant books. And I actually got Bait Finder 94. It was a pretty low percentage, but I bought a whole bunch of Bright Scrolls to level it up to 100% and threw it on my fishing spear. So now it should make finding bait a lot easier. I'm going to level up to Prestige 36. This one's gonna be a little bit of a pain, infinite XP, just because I spent all my XP, but I should be able to get all of that by mining and not too, too long because I have to mine blocks with enchants and mine physical blocks as well. So right now I have a lot of Mining quests, which is always actually kind of fun to just sit back, relax, and mine. And then I'm going to reroll this D-Boss one. I need to earn 360 E-Tokens, which is not bad because of my servants. I do have a lot of E-Tokens saved up, so I think I'm going to upgrade a couple of my enchantments as well to make this go a little bit faster. I'll upgrade Explosive. Excavator is really good because it gets me more E-Tokens, so I think I'm just going to put all my money into that actually, so I get E-Tokens even faster. I'm definitely a little worried about getting that much XP. I think that is actually going to take a lot longer than I anticipated. What I really want to do is get the full set of experienced dragon armor just so I can start getting that set bonus of a 25% increase in XP. Okay, apparently breaking crops is actually really good for XP. 
I just found out from the chat. So right now I'm doing that to make some XP and it's going up extremely fast compared to mining. That's a little bit of a cheat code in case you didn't know. In fact, there might actually be enough crops here to get me all the way up to 175k. This is going up so fast. Wow, that was so fast. <clears throat> so I have 175,000 XP. I'm now going to, I think I'm just gonna buy some enchantments with that. So let me buy two advanced books and then I'll just go to the XP shop and buy a few more Unbreaking Crystals. And that completes Prestige 36. Unfortunately, I didn't get anything good out of those two advanced books, but that's all right. I need to sell 1.8 million blocks. That is insane. Even with all of my grenades and everything, that just wouldn't be enough. I'm gonna have to re-roll that one and hope I get something good. Yep, purchase four items from the beacon shop. That's so much easier. Already done. I keep getting a lot of XP related quests because now I need to purchase two basic enchantment books, which I obviously need XP for. But I do have a lot of mining to do actually for this next quest, so I might get enough through this. We'll see. Oh, I just got my first key from that upgrade that I did, the treasure hunter. So I just got a free rover key. I guess it's another thing I can do. I don't really need to save up all of my P tokens. I can just kind of spend them as I go. So I will upgrade, I guess I'll upgrade mine crate finder and I'll use all but one of these mine crates. Okay, I got another uncommon mine crate. I'm trying to figure out what this is best spent on. Definitely either XP if I need it for a challenge or E tokens are really good. It's tough for me to pass up XP because I need it for the challenge, but I think the E-Tokens are just more beneficial overall, so I'll choose E-Tokens. I think it'll work out that by the time I'm done with my Gang Miner quest, then I should have enough XP just from mining to also complete the other quests that I have, and then I can Prestige again. I'm also going to check out my hideout upgrades, actually, because I think one of them is a Mine Crate one. Yeah, I'm going to spend the 500 mil on the Mine Crate upgrade. I really want to start getting these coming in a lot more, so I think I'm going to spend the rest of my prestige tokens on the mine crate upgrades as well as I start prestiging more. And look at that, I just got another one. Also, it looks like staff was on it pretty fast, where now I have my December crate keys instead. I'm just going to pop open one since it's not at the beginning of the episode, but I still really want to open one in this episode, so why don't I go warp crates, and I will open this up, and we'll see what I get. I really want servant keys. That's definitely what I want the most. No way, ask and you shall receive. I just got three servant keys. That's so good. I have some more stuff to sell too, like a tag note and another moon rank. I have two star ranks and two moon ranks, so I'm definitely gonna sell those for more money. Okay, I'm gonna open up some other keys I have on me right now as well. Satellite keys, rover keys, rocket keys. Oh my gosh, that is a lot of Actually, pretty decent potions. That's actually really gonna help me out with my current quest. Now, these are the exciting crates. I'm gonna open up three servant keys. I really want some good servants. And there we go. Bedrock and beacon and obsidian. That is so good. <laughs> that is so good. That is insane. I got the top three best servants out of that. <laughs> so now, of course, I need to go to my plot to place these. Well, actually, I should be able to combine I'm gonna combine my two beacon servants, and now I have three bedrock servants. I'm gonna summon that one, summon that, and I'll summon, put the obsidian one over here, just so it kind of goes from worst to best. Perfect. Now I'm gonna upgrade these a bit. They're just so expensive to upgrade. After this, I'm probably gonna AFK a bit with these servants running, and then just put the money straight back into upgrading them until they're all maxed out eventually. It's mainly the e-tokens that I'm just going to be short on, but I can at least upgrade the efficiency. Let's see, so now I'm making almost 400 mil an hour. That's not bad at all. So if I just AFK for a few hours, I can get a bill, which is pretty sweet. Okay, I'm going to pop one of these potions that breaks blocks in an 18 by 18 by 18 area, but that'll really help me get this gang miner quest out of the way, I think. That potion's used up, so now I'm going to Go to my hideout and go over to where my spawners are because I have to kill about a thousand mobs for one of my quests. I only have 20 pig spawners, so I will have to sit here for a little bit while they spawn in, but I will be right back once I have a stack of mobs to kill. Okay, there is 760 pigs spawned in. I am going to check the auction house if there's any good multi-kills that I can buy, although I don't think there will be any with a high enough percentage to make it worth it. You know, I'll pick up this multi-kill one, 73% chance of success. And I'll see what happens if I throw it on the sword. Perfect. That'll make this killing go a little bit faster. And now it's just time to do a lot of clicking. That quest is complete. And last but not least, I just need to buy those two basic enchantment books. One and two. 
and I'm done with that prestige. On to, what is it, prestige 38, going for 39. One of my quests is collecting money from servants, so it's good that I got those extra servants so I can actually collect enough. I already have 113 million from those servants. That's insane. So one thing I wanna do, I think I'm gonna do it on a stream sometime in the very near future, but I want to open up my gang to anybody who watches my videos or just anybody who wants to join, just cause I think it's more fun to kind of go through this with other people and then we can work together to level stuff up. So I think I'm gonna open that up sometime soon. I do wanna keep my own instead of joining somebody else's just cause I've put a lot of work into it so far. One of my quests is to get two mob pouches. I, right now, don't really know how to get them, or I do, I think I need looting, and I can level up to the chance of getting it in the pea shop, but I don't really want to deal with that right now, so I just messed up, because now that's 1.9 million blocks I need to sell, so I'm gonna go and use all of my grenades and see how far that gets me, and I can probably get the rest by just using some of the really good potions that I picked up, honestly, so it might actually not be that bad. I think that might have been the right call. I think for every potion I get, I can probably sell about half a million blocks, if not a little bit more than that. So this challenge might actually not take too long. It's like four per potions worth. First potion wore off, and let's see how many blocks I was able to sell off of that. 750k, so I think only three potions, and I should be there without wasting too many of these, um, these mine bombs. So I'm currently at 1.4 mil out of the 1.9 mil that I need to sell, but I think I'm just going to pop one more potion, and that should be enough. And that quest is now complete. Now prestige 39. I want to get to prestige 40 this video, so let me quick grind through this last prestige. Okay, I am now broke and prestige 40, and I have a milestone to claim. Please be something good. Oh, that actually kind of was a lot. Fortune boost 3, I don't think I'll really use that ever. All these fortune crystals are great, but my pickaxe just isn't a high enough level for me to use them. So everything is just going to get thrown in my private vault. Oh, made it to prestige 40, got a whole bunch of quests done, and opened up some more servants. So I'd say it was a successful episode. I will be posting another episode actually pretty soon after this one and maybe doing a live stream. So keep an eye out for both of those. I will be inviting people to join my gang during the live stream. So please tune into that. But as always, thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.